Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa and here we are in New Zealand and today we are doing a traffic fix because we built up our city, we hit Megalopolis, we've unlocked the ability to unlock every single square in the entire map but in doing so we caused so much traffic so we built up this area and this area last time and this is all backing up, this is all backing up this is all backing up all the way along here look at all these cars trying to get through and yeah we need to deal with this and i've got a few ideas in mind that's going to help oh my goodness me this goes even further than i thought that's going to help us to deal with this traffic oh wow it just keeps on going keeps on going good grief well i tell you what let's get some light on the matter there we go we can now see what is going on so yeah with all the expansion we did last episode uh, we had these these two blocks here um i also added some more houses around the outside of this area just along the front here and further down this main road and then over here on the other island was where our main bulk of the building was. We've got these houses here and these houses here. So overall, this section over this side is okay. These junctions, yeah, they're well used, but they're not busy. Uh, this bit over here is well used, but moving nicely. So that's good. So it is really just this bit over here. And it's now starting to back up into causing other problems as well. So let's just take a look at what we've got going on. So first of all, the way out of this area here, all of these people, which is, is that one big zone? Oh yeah, this is one big zone, these two here. But we've got 2,539. So I would say roughly two thirds in here or maybe half and half because we've got more businesses in this side but they're all coming out of this one little road up here which is now causing issues so what are we going to do about that um i also would like to change what has now become this main road through here let's look at what options we've got uh two u roads i would like a four lane here we go four lane two-way road see it's not bike unfortunately there isn't a four lane small see this is this is going to be massive this one look really wide uh what's that one there that's also really wide so yeah no bike versions unfortunately but i think this is going to help so we're going to upgrade these down here which is then going to give people more options to come on and off and to go yeah, left or right or straight on, depending on what they wish to do. We are going to add dedicated turning lanes in to these along here and that there. And then what have we got here? See, most of these people here are turning to come down here and getting stuck. And we've also got some lane switching in the middle here. That might be just because we've just changed that road. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to follow this down here. What is it that's causing this to be an issue? See, they could get out there a lot quicker, couldn't they? Have we got a stop sign there? We've got a giveaway sign. Let's just check the in-game junctions. Yeah, it's definitely a giveaway sign. But I'm just wondering whether if we remove that and just said keep going, whether that would help because there's not a lot of traffic coming around here what is the speed on here that's 40 that's 50 yeah generally i wouldn't i would want the roundabout a little bit slower just to help people get out i'm just wondering if even just a little change like that hmm, i don't like the way it's stopping this traffic on here let's try that slightly differently instead let's remove that and just let the game think about it itself it's still gonna sometimes make these guys stop but already we can see this has gone down and it might be that once that has started going down that it becomes less of an issue because then these guys can get out what i am going to do here is i'm going to put a time traffic light oh it's been so long since i've done a traffic fix i'm loving it so if we click on the time traffic lights and you've got control click quick setup and i'm going to do that so it's left control left click and we're going to have a set of timed lights. In fact, I'd like to watch those. So let us click on there and click on there. Yeah, there we go. So now these guys and girls can get out. 
And what I'm hoping it's not going to do is back up going the other ways too much. Now, we need to be aware that we have got crossing traffic lights here and here. But they don't seem to be causing too much of an issue. Because there's not that many people crossing over all at once. The odd one here and there. But now these are getting out. Look. And it's not backing up as much down there. Tell you what. Let's do a view this way. And we can just keep an eye on this traffic down here. And see whether that can get out without all this backing up. Just while we're watching that, I'm just going to change some of these here. So we've got a dedicated right turn lane. As if we left click that again, we now get a dedicated left turn, which I think is a better idea because that's the one that's crossing the traffic and perhaps has to wait a bit. Whereas the straight on and the right, that can just keep going and that can be much better. So here we've got the left turn that's crossing the traffic is the dedicated one and the other two go on. So I'm going to change that. Actually, that one's okay. Um, and that one's okay. And this has got traffic lights at the end by the look of it. Yeah, it has. And we've got a bus stop right there. Um, I'm going to move that back a spot just away from the junction. Have we got any other stops in here? Right? No, they're all spread out all over the place. Yeah. And also what I'm going to do, now this has been running for a few minutes... There we go. Look, having the two lanes is so much better. Why did you... Oh, you're an ambulance. You can do what you like. Yeah, because now we can fill up two lots. Oh, is that... Oh, there's traffic lights here as well. Oh, I didn't realise. No, 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 no. no. I don't want those. I want giveaway, giveaway for all the ones coming on. It's because I changed this up to sort of a, a higher in the tier list of roads. Yeah, that one down there is okay. Because it's got four lanes, it put in all those traffic lights. So that should be better. Yeah, what I was going to do was I was just going to change the length of time for these guys to come out. So let's just see when that is, what step that is. There we go. It's step number two. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to edit stop number two. And I'm basically just going to up this. So we're at three and eight. I'm going to change that to... Let's go six and twelve. And then we'll save that. So it's the minimum time. At least it's going to stay for six. Maximum it's going to be twelve. So it's a few more ticks longer. Um, and we'll leave everything else. Generally speaking, that should be okay. It's going to go back to step one again there we go now we're at step two so what we should see is more cars being able to get out which i think is the case and we've got to balance that with the fact that they can get through the roundabout down here as well and then hopefully these guys go in the other way yeah what i don't like here is they're changing lanes where we've got this extra little node here which i don't want them to do so i'm going to say here goes straight on and there is what well, actually this isn't so busy i'm going to delete that one there we go so they'll stack up double double wide here and not block each other in and yeah hopefully that is now going to start fixing this i'm going to zoom out a bit let's just keep an eye on this row of cars here and these two rows of cars here and the roundabout see how that goes Yeah, and there we go. Look, already this down here is all cleared up. It's literally backing up as far as here. This one isn't backing up at all, and neither is this one. So I would say that that little junction there is definitely fixed. Look, all of these cars are getting through by the last couple. This tech lead T lorry didn't wait his turn. Come on now. And then by the time the lights change, there's about as many cars up to here. And I think most of those are going to get through. So there we go. That's fine. That's good. And for those of you that have never really seen me do a traffic fix before, haven't done one for a while, in Traffic Manager, I always have this set to no despawning hard mode. So in vanilla, you've got, you know, without mods, you've got no choice of changing that. It's always in despawn mode. So for instance, in this situation, when you've got cars backing up all the way down a road like this and going down other roads, the game will just make some cars disappear to solve the problem. You still get traffic, but not as bad. Whereas I like to make things hard. Um, so yeah, that is moving nicely. So I'm wondering now whether I could put this back to how it should be. Because look, all these guys are going and they're stopping on the roundabout. So if I do that there, let's just speed it up a moment. 
is that going to make this back up or have we managed to yeah that would be fine now because there's hardly any traffic coming through here so it's never going to be too much here that they can't get through excellent what are we at 68 percent. nice okay that's good i'm pleased with that uh, let's go back to this view and see what's going on so the other big thing is oh my giddy aunt this is backed up so far it's gone all the way down the highway into this section down here but we can see where the problem is it is right here so let's just take a look what's going on now we do have two lanes here so when they come down they can pick left or right uh that shouldn't be i don't think there's any straight ons on there no okay so that's what we want left or right if they're going to go straight on they can just stay on the highway so let's use the in-game tool so that's this one here the traffic routes and click this road i might already have that clicked yeah there we go so the big thing we've got is there's, there's going to be no pedestrians well there is some pedestrians actually but the biggest thing you can see is purple and pink which is public transport and cargo and private vehicles let's just take a look at our private vehicles so they are coming all the way down here all the way up there and then all the way back round into this area so is there a way we could do something about that why are you running out of power we have electricity available to you maybe let's just for now bump up our budget on power there we go and hopefully that will just give enough of a boost they're thinking about it yeah there we go so can we help these cars get to in here or these people get to in here rather than just using their cars because where are they all coming from i mean they're coming from oh, i mean they're coming from yeah all the way in here they're coming from over here and then they're driving all the way down some are coming from down here yeah so i'm thinking some sort of public transport option here would be good so what do we have well we've got this train station here um, we've got this monorail uh, sorry above ground metro that stops outside the stadium stops down here for the work stops at our main station um so probably the biggest public transport option we've got coming out of here is our station so let's just have a look at our train line so we've got our green one here which comes along this way and stops over here yeah there's a stop there and a stop there okay and then it comes up here and stops at this one so people are preferring to drive rather than jump on the train which is interesting to me you would think that they would drive to a train station yeah that is interesting you think they drive to a train station like for instance these guys coming from all the way up here i suppose where is their nearest train station they'd have to come off the highway wait there so actually that probably is quicker for them anyway so is there a way we could get these cars into here mm, we've got a way for them to come out but we haven't got a little slip road for them to get in could we do something about that well look we've got this slip road off here that comes this way could we use that to somehow go oh see if only we could just do that over the top there and run in that would be perfect or could we have it like come up here over the top man this could be like super tight why don't we just give it a go and see what happens so if we go into our highway roads we are going to take a highway ramp i'm just going to pause this a minute and just see what we can get in here do you know what i'm actually going to do it with um let's have a look have they got a rural road there we go that's what i'm looking for i want to put like a little rural road in here uh page up i don't want it to keep snapping so if we could do something like this okay let's turn off all of these things hmm let's start from there and then go up put some anarchy on try not to delete anything that we've got in here already yeah and then we could go over the top like this so it's a nice sort of curve that comes around we'll adjust the height on this later don't worry and then it can come back down again sort of here and then we've got access to over there now if we put this back on and maneuver that we'll get rid of all the trees and that there we go excellent and then down here we could then just 
It's going to be a bit squeezy squeezy. Uh, let us... Can I fit in there? Yeah, let's get the move it mod and just move this bit of fence back to down here somewhere. I'll sort that out a bit later. And then I want this to come in and snap in here like that. So they can come out of there, come up. Ooh, just about get through. Okay, let's upgrade this to this one. We can start seeing what it looks like. And there is going to be some jiggery pokery needed. Okay, that fence is going to go. That's fine. This is going to have to be lifted up. That's okay. That's going to come down there to there. Okay. So let's just tackle this one point at a time. What have we got? Ooh, okay, that is going to be... Oh, it's going the wrong way as well. There we go. So if we can move... Oh, man, it's so tight under here. I can't even get in. So there's the pillar. That's what I'm looking for. So if we could move this back a little bit like that. Just set the height the same. Oh, that is the height. That's okay. And then if we can just move this over a bit. Because we've got like that in the way there, which is a little bit weird. Oh, there we go. Excellent. If we do that... Move this all over a bit. Now that moves off here as it should do. Uh, let's get the height on here. So if we sort of go up to that and up to that. And then we'll slope that. So we'll do that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then we'll say slope objects. And hope that's still... Oh, look, we got that there. Let's move that off the highway. Is there another... Oh, it's a key wall there, isn't it? Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Hmm. We could actually use that to our advantage and pop it on the key wall. Uh, how high is that? Oh, man, that is never high enough, is it? <laughs> that is nowhere near high enough. Okay, let's uh, just move these up a little bit more. And just see how that goes. Yeah, I think that is probably about as low... Oh, here comes a tractor with a trailer on the end. Yeah, I would say teeny tiny. One, two, three, four, and then that'll be it. Yeah, that's high enough. So that's going to swing over there. And now we've got access here. And that literally could just go straight into there. So if we grab... Put that on. Put that on. Thank you. And if we go like this... We could literally just go straight into there. So now we've got an in and an out. Um, and we could shake it all about. And if we do that... <laughs> no thanks. That's not what I want. I want to say... Oh, it's like coming in on the wrong side and out on the wrong side, isn't it? So these are going to be crossing over. Well, that's a bit annoying. So, I mean, the other option is... If we move this out a bit like this... Oh, finagling, finagling. We could just pop a teeny tiny roundabout in there. Uh, I want this button here. That's like the smallest. I could probably go smaller than that. It's got to be like a really small roundabout. One U. Yeah, that'll do. And if we go like that. There we go. So they're going to come in. They are going to go around that way. And it was all a bit back to front. But if we swing that round a bit. Swing that round a bit. Swing that round a bit. That's all a bit nice and slopey. I think that should be okay. Oh, man. I've completely lost the shape now of the roundabout. No! Okay. That'll do. That'll do. I could finagle with that all day. And then hopefully they will start using this. So all we need now here is to give them a dedicated lane for coming off. So control, left click will be fine. And I think that's it. It's all going the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Look, people are using it already. So anybody wants to come over here is now going to start using this. Uh, yeah, we've got like crossings and all sorts there. Don't need crossings on there. So let's just turn those off. Crossings, no. Crossings, no. Crossings, no. Oh, buildings disappeared. Uh, crossings, no. You've got crossings further down you can use. Crossings, no. Crossings, no. Any other crossings you want to get rid of? This one here. That one, no. <laughs> it's like every time I click, there's more crossings to turn off. <laughs> there we go. I feel like I'm missing one over here somewhere. This one. No, we've done that one. 
We've done that one. Oh, there's one there. Look. Ah, oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. Now these buildings are coming back. That's fine. I think that should be okay. Let's maneuver those. And I want to put a big tree in the middle. There we go. Let's grab that. So that now should ease the amount of cars that want to go down that road. Hopefully that's the idea. But we've still got to get these all to go first. Now this is a perfect example. See all these cars down this red road here. That was on vanilla. The game would have despawned half of those. But we like things hard. <clears throat> so um, what could we do here to try and help with this a bit? I'm just wondering whether. Let's just have a look how we've got set up here yeah we've got it giving way which is fine um we've got what i'm going to do is say no lane switching on quite a few of these so if any of them do want to go right which they don't want to <laughs> then they could stack up there i might just pop in here you know just to help get things moving a roundabout that's just going to be weird no let's not do that it's not going to work because it, it, the bridge and yeah what i'm going to do actually is turn off that and i'm just going to say keep going and i it's just going to be a mess until they're gone and in fact you know what i am going to do is i'm going to tell these guys to give way instead and you let these go so they can go down so let's see how that goes Yeah, unfortunately, what is going to happen is this is all going to back up down here. But these have nearly all gone, look. So, as we know, less cars are coming down here now. What we can do is just put that back to these give way and these go. And now this should clear up. All the Tetley T... There's so many of them. All the Tetley T vans and the emergency vehicles that need to come through. And this should not back up anymore. Now, what I'm hoping hasn't happened is when we go and look at the road that we've put in, the extra road, that it's caused an issue... I don't think that it would. Would you just let the car flipping go? What's your problem? Did I not set this up properly? What do I do here? Oh, I've got these on go straight through as well. I'm going to do give way. It's this grit. Oh, it's all the emergency vehicles trying to force their way through. Okay, fine. Fair enough. So this, yeah, should now keep going. And not be a problem and let's just come and check this extra road is clear as well there it is ah uh, that's good so if it wasn't for this railway line that comes through here i would i would have done something with this junction and had the road come up there and then come down here or something like that but yeah i i don't, I don't mind i don't mind what we've got going on there that works out in my mind so let me just move some of these trees out in the middle of the road there we go there we go there we go there we go done excellent so that's now helping everybody get into that and if we just go back to this tool again here the traffic routes click on this road there we go so now we can see all the people that were coming from over here that for some reason aren't taking public transport are now going down that road there and it's not causing any issues at all and the little mini death wave we're getting because of blocking all the services will be fine 76 percent excellent i can see we've got a little issue here but it's not too bad this is sort of okay yeah, it's, yeah, these guys are changing lanes here. What I want is when they come through this junction is to pick their lane and stick in it all the way along that road and not change lanes. And that just helps things move so much better. Do you know what? I mean, it's only backing up to there. That's like nothing. And what I could even do to help move that along a bit quicker is say, as you're coming through this junction, don't stop and keep the junction clear because there's hardly any other cars come in. Just go through that junction. I'll do it for both directions. So then they will back up and also take up this space. So it means when the lights change, they're not driving from this line through. They're driving from, if they've sort of filled this up, they're driving from here through. And it might just get them through a bit quicker. But yeah, look, that's okay. It's not blocking each other up as long as it's moving i'm happy with that 79 percent. it is going up so that's okay this is okay that's okay this is just a well-used train line this is looking a bit busy here what is going on so they're all coming off and they're all getting stuck here someone to go left someone to go right they're blocking each other up okay 
So let's look at our two U three lane roads. Is there a, yes, asymmetrical three lane road, sort of this sort of color. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the node controller. I'm going to add an extra node sort of halfway down like that. I don't want it as a crossing. I'll just have it as a normal middle, but it now means I can upgrade just one half of this road. So we'll take our asymmetrical. There we go. Oh, I wonder I might just do the other way. The other way. And actually, if we use this one, do we not get the nice turn in the middle? I thought we'd get a nice join in the middle there, but obviously not. Okay, well, whatever. We'll use that one. So now we've got a left and a right lane, if we set it up correctly. So if we look at that, there we go. Right lane, left lane. And then this one over here, they're all going on to the roundabout anyway, so that's okay. So hopefully that would just move a little bit better. Let's just keep an eye on this and see how it goes for a minute or two. What I don't want is it backing up over here. If anybody's going through, I want them to go through. Because at the minute, as you can see, it keeps backing up. Yeah, it's not too bad. Do you know what we could also do, just to help this along, is we're going to say, look, you need to give way there. You need to give way and you need to give way. These guys can just go. And then when it comes down here, you give way and then these guys can go. And I think that would be much better. I'm also going to say this little bit here. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. The last node's all the way along here, which is a bit odd. Let's just move that up a bit. Oh, that's okay. Look, they're going through now. What are we at? 76% these here keep stopping look which they don't need to do so if something's going on there not stop signs okay so what we'll do is instead we'll say you just keep going there we go it's a very tight turn i mean they're probably a bit annoyed having to take that turn there but that's fine that'll be okay although yeah most annoying thing is is a lot of this traffic is coming from these really busy factories up here that are making us a whole load of money look how much money we're making and the only way in and out is this roundabout or this roundabout and they seem to be choosing this way just checking we haven't got any reasons why yeah i think what they're doing is they're coming through here and then they're coming down here to our Vesthaven Lagerhalle. Yes, and that's what's happening. Look, if we just use the tool again, let's use our noggin and see who's coming through this road. So obviously we know there's no private vehicles, but trucks, yeah, millions of them. Yeah, so they're all coming down here. They're stopping off at the cargo and all of that. So yeah, if they take this road here, they can't get through to there. So actually, there's a way of fixing that, which I think might be a good idea. Uh, we're going to take this road here. And we are, oh, there we go. And we are going to just connect that to there. That is nearly straight anyway. And then this one here, I want that to connect sort of in there. So it's a T-junction. Yeah. And then we might just find, if I prioritise this road through here, so then you give way, you give way, we might get more coming down here than coming through here. So let's just go like that and keep an eye on these cars this side and whether we get more people coming down that side. Yep, yeah, I would say that's definitely better. It's making sure it's splitting the traffic between these two uh, entrances and exits means this isn't backing up over here anymore and this isn't backing up so that's actually working much much better what are we at let's have a look 75 percent it's like going up and going down what's going on over here walkie walkie lane switching that's what's going on over here i'm going to say no no pick your lane when you come out and then keep going and then this one give way yeah and then hopefully then they will just keep on going yeah so that's all moving Red but moving, red but moving. Oh look, there's hardly any cars down here at all now. Red but moving, red but moving, we're okay. Let's get back over here again. So that's okay, only backing up a few. 
this is okay this side here is backing up but again we've got that weird thing where they're walkie walkie lane switching where we don't want them to and we're just going to stop it all the way along that road so we're not going to allow it there not going to allow it there so when you come in to this node whether it's coming down this road from the left or this road here you pick your lane and you stick in it and then that means the cars can stack up too wide all the way between these two junctions so let's just keep an eye on that for a sec unless anybody changes their mind like you just saw then and dives out there we go so when the cars can go they can go maybe not necessarily twice as fast but definitely a lot quicker and as long as this here doesn't back up to this node this junction i'm fine with that there's a lot of people coming off of this path here and jumping into their cars which is a little bit annoying but yeah that's fine there we go look that's gone down now look at that look at that one little change this one here is still i think it's just so busy because we're only giving them access to the highway through this one junction do you know what we should do we should give these guys some access to the highway down here somewhere we've got this here look at this oh of course of course completely forgot about that and oh my goodness me what target do we need to hit to unlock this square we don't oh uh, which one is it uh it's this one i can't tell which one it is Zoop. this one here purchase for lots of money yeah there we go so if we add that is going in both directions so if we add that in over here somewhere so let's just change this a bit like we've got this one here i am going to grab that road there we're going to upgrade this main road coming through here and then that's going to come down this way and that's going to connect up to this one so we're going to grab that and that is going to go through there we have it nice and straight so that'd be better boink there we go there we go so they can come down there let's set up our turning lane so coming out of it because we're going to get a lot of cars now redirecting down the highway and coming off through here so we've just got to think ahead so we've got this set up okay again dedicated turning lanes i want I don't, is it called a protected so that'd be protected right or am i misusing the term i can't remember but as the uh, actually no, I want it that way, don't I? Protected? No, that's not right at all. Anyway, you know what I mean. Where it's crossing the traffic gets its own lane, and then the other two that move quicker don't. Uh, we'll do the same there. Where it crosses the traffic, its own lane. Same for this one. And then where does it turn? Now it's going to go down this way. I'm just going to do give way and give way, as this is the main route through. So I want the main route through to the highway to have its own lane. And again, it's, that's where it's crossing the traffic. And that's the same for this one. Yeah, the same here as well. And now, <laughs> what is that police car doing? He's like, I've changed my mind. And then at the end here, I would like an asymmetric road. So they can sort of choose where they're going. Uh, we could even use one like this. Where it's got three lanes. You've got the one lane that goes out. But then you've got three. So it can go left, right and straight on. Which I don't think is a bad idea, depending on how many cars start coming down here. And then we'll see how that goes. And then here... I don't know what you're waiting for, but I want you to keep going through and you. And you're going to give way and you're going to give way. And then, yeah, I think that's okay. And then they're coming down here to the highway. Let's put our camera mod on so we can move over into a square we don't own. And they can literally go onto the main highway through the city... Or they can go underneath and come through this little setup and come out onto here. Oh, excellent. Or they can cut through there. So that is a quicker way to get down to our industrial area, which is great. Why does that look weird? Is that just because of the way these roads are set up? Possibly. There we go. And that is great. So it, before... Everybody here would have had to have gone up there, through this roundabout, down there, down there, then onto the highway. Or if they wanted to get over here, it was, whoops, up there, through this roundabout, and then crossing over here, and then into the mix. But that should be so much better. 80% is, that is fantastic. It's normally what I would aim for. 
got some sort of slowing down outside of our zone but that isn't something i would normally worry about that looks all okay that's red but moving that's red but moving that's all okay we're growing as well up to forty thousand. that's all okay this is going to start getting busier so i have to keep an eye on this as i it's not optimized the way i would like it but it still works that's the train line that's busy this is a lot look i mean ideally i'd like a way for these guys to get from here to over here so they don't have to go up and around which we could bring this road i don't think there's enough room to get up and over there we'd have to sink all of this down we'll leave it as it is we'll leave it as it is because this isn't busy at all that's not busy this is not busy what about the other islands we're sort of ignoring that one our new area is fine that junction's okay that's red but it just means busy that's red but just moving and then the other side over here this is super busy yeah this is something we need to look at getting on and off this island because they get up to here and they're like backing up backing up do you know what we could put in here let's pop in a time traffic light and see how that goes whether that helps these people here and i want to see so they're number two i want to see how many of those get out and whether that helps okay if i do that view there like that watch all of these cars i mean they're backing up to here so let's just keep an eye on that and see whether they get out quicker better faster We'll start singing the song. Okay, back in a sec. Quick sip of tea while I'm waiting. Yeah, look, there we go. We can see already it's not backing up at all now. They're getting out much quicker. Um, and this isn't backing up this way or this way. It's getting a little bit busy here. I mean, this is a bad design, this area. I may end up changing it. But if you remember, I just put this underground road to sort of hide it out the way. But unfortunately, it comes right past this cargo area. So cars are getting in each other's way. Do you know what I'm actually going to do is make this a bigger road. Uh, two U, two U, three, that one there, four lane. Oh, we can't change that one. Need to touch it mod. There we go. Now we can change it yeah so i might just do that one there as well what the heck <laughs> what have i done no uh where's the road i can't see the underground bit of road there we go that's what i want i want this oh mamma mia what have i done Okay, there we go. That sort of sorted it out. Uh, let's just move these rocks out of the way. Yeah, there we go. I think that's okay. Just got a couple of bushes here. Come on now, out the road, please. Out the road now. Thank you very much. You got these ones. Have I got the this turned off? Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. So if I do move it mod above ground mode, select that and go one one. There we go. It all goes excellent. Yeah, they're not backing up here at all now. This isn't backing up either way. This is super busy, this area. But it's all moving. And we're sort of like one one percent point off of being 80%. So I'm thinking... It's like these guys here keep stopping. Why are you stopping? That You don't need to stop. Don't stop. I want you to... They've already got the keep... Oh, look, there's another node here with the keep going through bit. Let's do that. Can you just keep going through? And can anybody coming up here? Can you just give way? I think it's because this node and this node are just too close together. And I'm worried if I touch them, I'm going to break something. It might only just need to be a tiny... Ah, oh, there we go. Look, a tiny movement. And now it all just keeps going. That is much more like it. And I bet this one's the same as well. Tiny movement tiny movement yep excellent good right we are so close to 80 percent. i just want to make a little change here whenever a train comes in and drops off a whole ton of people this gets pretty chocker block and i i think it was in the last episode use the touch it mod 
to unlock this little road here and change it. And I've got two lanes coming out so they can go left and right. But I think I want to stop them crossing over this road because um, it's just too busy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to a two lane, two way road with no parking. There we go. It says one road in, one road out. What are these guys doing down here? I don't want anything going down here but buses. Hang on, we'll come back to what we were doing. Um, yeah, if I take that one there and say no cars, buses are fine, taxis are fine, trucks no, uh, those no, SOS no. If you, you need help, you need to... <laughs> drag yourself out here for an ambulance okay don't do that um and then down here we're gonna say you can go there you can go there and then you can go there so it's a straight coming out not getting in each other's way there's no nodes in the middle then here they will sort themselves out where they're gonna go so yeah we're gonna have to leave that as straight on and off what are these cars doing? Look, there's still cars trying to go up there. Don't go up there. I just said. Anyway. So then they'll come through. And then if they need to turn around, they'll come down here and use this, which is fine. And then I might just leave the rest of that as it is. What are we at? Oh, we're at 80%. This is just such a busy, busy junction. I mean, there are roundabouts nearby. I'm wondering whether to do a similar thing here and stop them turning left and right and just make them keep going straight on just because it's so busy which means we could take that road take away the asymmetric road and actually we could just do a bit of hugo there and that should just keep everybody going straight and where they should go and just keep them and then if they come down here and need to turn around not quite sure where they would go let's just i'm hoping they won't hook a yui in here they'll just carry on going down and turn around somewhere else I mean, they could go up there and round here, couldn't they? Which is not a bad idea. Uh, this has ended up with traffic lights on at some point. I don't want that. Oh, we did, oh, yeah, we did that to keep this going, didn't we? How bad is the traffic under here? Yeah, still a lot coming and going. Mm. What I, ideally, what I want is this to hook up to this main road here. <laughs> so they're not coming out past this cargo doohickey simple barge harbour cargo thing or we could have it go into here and then up to there do you know what i think that would be a much better idea yeah let's just repurpose this here <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. I tried to slope that so it wasn't anywhere near as bad and it still didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's just raise that up a bit and we'll raise this one up a bit as well. And then we need to do a little bit of terraforming around there and then we'll get this all sorted. Yeah, that's all just a bit weird, isn't it? Let's fix that as well. There we go. That's much better. And then this is becoming a main road up here. So I'm probably, I mean, we'll, I'm thinking what to do. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just try and deal with it with everybody that's coming on to it has to give way. And then these guys can come up here. And then I do want an asymmetrical road at the end. So we are going to take this one. And as this isn't so busy, and please may it stay like that, we'll give them asymmetrical roads to come out. And that bus stop there, I'm not too concerned about. It may mean traffic lights here, because this is now becoming sort of a semi-main road sort of situation. I'm going to put that there as well. And then I'm just going to go dedicated turning lanes for this one crossing the traffic and the rest okay. And we'll see whether that then helps this situation. So it's literally just cargo trucks coming down here, turning around at the end, blocking each other up. <laughs> Could I do you go there and tell them just to go in a certain lane? Do you know what this needs is a teeny tiny roundabout. Okay, there we go. That runs a lot better. Once they've been down here, picked up or dropped off the cargo, they can just go around the roundabout and back out again. And it's not being impacted by the cars coming from Alcatraz Island, which is now connecting. I've just gone straight past it over here. 
and that's not causing any problems at all and everything's moving smoothly i've removed the time traffic lights from here we don't really need them they can just give way and that just keeps all of this moving and we must be at 80 percent. we are 80 percent. there we go that is it i think that is a flipping good traffic fix for our city everything's running smoothly which is just what we want to see so if you enjoyed this please be sure to subscribe and leave a like be sure to check out the other videos on the screen and be back very soon for our continuing build in our city here of new zealand and we've unlocked now haven't we all the squares megalopolis we can finally head over to here to start building our real high density stuff using some of the new uh, metro and train hubs and all that sort of thing really looking forward to getting my teeth into that cool have a good day see you soon take care Bye bye